when I was a young student, uh, even at school, I learned poems by Ceylan, and this facet fascinated me from the very first moment, and I decided to get in touch with uh, Ceylan, and uh, I wrote him a letter, like a little boy can, uh, I mean, I was 17 or 18, like a little boy can uh, send a letter to such a genius like uh, Ceylan. And to my surprise, uh, his uh, publisher sent me a short message, you can come to Paris on that day, he's teaching in the academy, and right afterwards he will be ready to uh, speak to you. So I did, I went to Paris uh, and uh, he took me to his home and um, this was a very depressing, enigmatic atmosphere because he were, was far away from all these daily turbulences and uh, now I know why he was uh, in a very bad psychological condition, he has separated from his uh, family, still writing uh, poems but um, he was very close to a certain end and uh, after two weeks, three weeks, we got the message that uh, he committed suicide and it was absolutely clear for me uh, in this moment, um, this uh, situation and um, well many years later I decided to write an opera about my personal experience with uh, Sela. As you mentioned, it's interesting, his first uh, poems were written in Romanian language. Yes. Only later he moved to German language, despite all these historic turbulences of the 20th century. I'm coming from Germany, where UNESCO is not so popular so far. I think mm -hmm. things are growing, and I do my very best to uh, conduct uh, as much as I can. In April, I will do a concert with his Fifth Symphony, completed by Bentoyo in Berlin in the Philharmonie, which is, of course, the most important podium in Germany. And I hope uh, this will have some consequences as far as repertoire is concerned. And um, I definitely like uh, the idea of conducting his opera, Oedipe, which is one of the most interesting and uh, dignant uh, operas of the 20th century would die to do it and uh, things are on the way on the right way now you have to have a certain imagination of sound of balance uh, of lineament and uh, then it's a it's a, it's a work in progress which never ends uh, you have to trans transfer your imagination to the reality of uh, performance uh, you have to feel in advance what will happen with the music in the next seconds, in the next minutes. Uh, it's a development of uh, spirituality, difficult to describe. I mean, you, this is the most difficult question you could uh, <laughs> give me. A um, um, lot of intuition is involved. Um, you cannot explain why you do it like that. You have analyzed the score, you have prepared yourself, but there is something, uh, something unforeseen. Maybe this is the most important point, that this happens. Well, my parents um, bought a piano for me at a very early time. I was four or five and I had my usual lessons and my interest, my interest uh, grew up during many years, then I started to, to compose very little and stupid pieces, but uh, there was a sort of inspiration which uh, grew and grew. And uh, well, now I became professional after a while. Um, on the other hand, you know, I'm not only composer, I'm also a conductor, I'm intendant of uh, various festivals. The last big festival was the Salzburg Festival and um, the Munich Biennale and this was a combination between musical intuition and administration efforts.